Hey crochet friends, I'm Tiffany and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to crochet a string of pearls and it's so easy to customize so that you can make shorter or longer strands just so that it looks natural. But each strand is so easy to whip up. You're going to repeat the same three steps till you have your desired length and you're going to swap the last three steps just so that it kind of looks balanced. But it's super easy so grab some medium weight size 4 yarn. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver in the color Green Apple, so it is an ombre scheme. So I'm using the lightest green for my project. You will also need a five millimeter crochet hook. Grab a pair of scissors and a darning needle to weave in your ends. So grab all that and we will get started. Okay, so to begin, we are gonna start with a slip knot. Now the way I make mine is you lay your yarn like this, pinch the bottom with your thumb and pointer, and then pinch the top with your middle and ring finger. And then make a heart with your thumb and pointer of your other hand. Go underneath and out the top. Turn just your right hand facing down and then turn both your hands together. Grab this yarn, hold on to that, and then start pulling your hands apart and then it will close up and turn into your slip knot. Now grab your hook Put it through the loop and then pull on these two strands of yarn pushing that slip knot up towards your hook and don't go all the way you don't want it snug so you want to be able to see through it and we are going to start by chaining five so go in front of the yarn wrap it around and take that loop through the first loop on your hook and do that four more times wrap it around and take that loop through the first loop Just like that, and then continue, go up to five. Okay, after you have five chains in the second chain from the hook, you're gonna do a mini puff stitch. So you don't count what's on your hook. That's your first chain and your second chain, and you're gonna go into that. So wrap the yarn around first, and then go into that chain. And then you're going to go around the back of your yarn and pull it through your chain. You have three loops on your hook. You're going to do that all over again in the same chain. So wrap the yarn around first, go into the chain. It's going to be a little tight squeeze. And then go around the back of your yarn, pull it through your chain. And you should have five loops. So one, two, three, four, and five. And you're gonna wrap the yarn around and pull through all five of these loops. Now you're gonna do a slip stitch in the next chain. So all of those loops are in this chain right here. This is the next chain. So go into the next chain first, go around the back, grabbing your yarn, Pull it through the chain and we're going to do a slip stitch so you pull that loop through the next loop on your hook just like that and you have like your first little pearl so now this is how it's facing after every single pearl you're going to rotate so you're going to rotate it so that it's on the right side now and now we're going to do the next set so you chained five and then did a purl. Now we're gonna chain four and then do a purl. So wrap the yarn around, take that loop through the next loop for one chain and do that three more times. So four chains and then in that second chain from the hook, you're gonna do your puff stitch or your mini puff stitch. So you don't count what's on your hook. That's your first chain, your second chain. Do all of that over again. So do that in the second chain. Wrap the yarn around first, go into the chain, go around the back and pull that yarn through your chain. You've got your three loops. Do that one more time. Wrap the yarn around first, go into the chain. This is where it's kind of a tight fit. Go around the back. Grab your yarn, pull through the chain. Then you should have five loops. One, two, three, four, and five. 
and then wrap the yarn around and pull through all five of these loops. And then see how all of those loops are in that chain? Go into the next chain and do your slip stitch. Let's go into the chain first, go around your yarn, pull it through your chain, and then pull that loop through the next loop on your hook. And you see how it's facing like this? Rotate it now to where you'd see the back of that purl. And we're gonna do our next set. So now we're gonna chain three. So wrap the yarn around, pull through, so one, and three, and then repeat that same purl. So the, the mini puff stitch in that second chain from the hook. So wrap the yarn around, go into the chain, go around your yarn, pull it through the chain, got your three loops, wrap the yarn around, go back into that chain. Go around your yarn, pull it through your chain, and you have your five loops, one, two, three, four, and five, Wrap the yarn around and go through all five loops. If you can. <laughs> Sometimes it catches. So if you have to do like one loop at a time, why it's making its way through. There we go. Oh my goodness. Sometimes it can give you some trouble. So now how you're all in that chain, go into your next chain with your slip stitch. So go around the yarn, pull it through, and pull that loop through the next loop. And then you're going to rotate this to face the back. So now all we're gonna do for the length of our string of pearls is repeat those same three steps except for the very end of your string of pearls. So once you get close to the distance that you would like, then I'll teach you how to do the very final three steps. So we're gonna do where we chain five, do a mini puff stitch, chain four, do a mini puff stitch, chain three, do a mini puff stitch. You're just doing the same set over and over and over. So to pick back up where we left off, now we're gonna chain five to begin our next set. One. Five, and then in that second chain from the hook, so just a refresher, not this loop, not that one, that's the second chain, you're going to wrap the yarn around and then go into that chain. Go behind your yarn, pull your yarn through the chain, wrap the yarn around, go back into the same chain. Go behind your yarn, pull it through the chain. Now you should have five loops. One, two, three, four, five. Wrap the yarn around and go through all five loops. And then go into the next chain and do a slip stitch. So go in the chain around your yarn, pull it through the chain, and then pull that loop through the next loop on your hook. Just like that and then rotate to look at the back of that purl and then do chain four. So wrap the yarn around, pull through, chain four and in that second chain from the hook do your mini puff stitch. Back in the chain. One, two, three, four, five. Wrap the yarn around, pull through all the loops. Go into the next chain, do your slip stitch. Whoa. Sorry about that. And then rotate your purl to look at the back and then chain three. And 
three. And then in that second chain, do your mini puff stitch. And back in the same chain. One, two, three, four, and five. Wrap the yarn around, pull through all five, and then go into the next chain, do your slip stitch. And then rotate this to face the back. And then if you want it to be longer, just keep continuing. So chain five, in the second chain from the hook, do your mini puff stitch. Do your slip stitch, chain four, chain three, etc. Just keep doing the same five, four, three, five, four, three. So, just for this tutorial, let's just say I'm happy with the length right now. We're going to switch the last set by chaining three. So, we're going to go three, four, five. One. Three, and then in that second chain, do your mini puff stitch. You have your five loops on your hook, wrap the yarn around, pull through. And I like to wiggle my hook. Sometimes that helps you get through all of those loops. And then go into the next chain, do your slip stitch. And then it's facing this way. Rotate it so that you're facing the back of that purl. And then you're gonna chain four one, four, and in that second chain, do your mini puff stitch. And sometimes it doesn't let you go through it too smooth. Go into that next chain, grab your yarn, do your slip stitch, and then rotate this, and then chain five for your final purl, so five, and in that second chain, do your puff stitch. And then find your next chain, do your slip stitch. And then all you're gonna do is chain one, pull on your yarn, and you don't need a crazy amount. And then you're gonna put that on your darning needle and weave it in. So kind of just like go through all the random loops um, just to hide your tail. And pull through, and then by chaining one, it kind of secures that. And then you have your first string of pearls. So hopefully you love this pattern and it was easy to follow and it's easy to customize. So instead of chaining five, four, three, you can completely change the number of chains. It just changes the distance between each pearl. Now it can join its friends. I got to weave in the tail, but you get the idea. So all I would say is don't weave in the beginning tails. So leave those long enough um, if you want to attach all of your strands to something. I enjoyed making this pattern so much. I really hope you enjoyed it and have fun crocheting your string of pearls. Bye crochet friends.